Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Manned, Archer Maker EV Toll completes hover test. Also, Mars helicopter hits a new flight milestone. And Ziva Arrow announces unusual EV Toll concept. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AOVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Archer's maker Evital completes hover test. Archer Aviation has completed the first important hover test of their upcoming maker aircraft, a two-seater electric VTOL. The brief flight consisted of the company's proprietary propulsion system, making its first successful liftoff unassisted. The developmental mule received its FAA Special Airworthiness Certificate in early December. The company finally moved its aircraft from the digital drawing board into the prototype phase. The maker faces stiff competition in a market that has consistently marched onwards. Only reaching hover tests this late in the game could see the tortoise versus hare. Adage play out in the market once again. The move serves as a capstone for a year that has seen a number of Archer developments for the company. From their merger with ASPAC in February to sell public stock, to the contentious patent and trade secret lawsuit with now arch enemy manufacturer Whisk. Recent good news has seen large investments from United Airlines for their prospective electronic taxi aircraft. The maker sports 12 motors and six tilting electric propellers for vertical takeoff and efficient forward flight, which performed as expected during the company's Salinas, California test. The evaluation of their flight control software and aircraft subsystems bode well for future flight testing in 2022. Coming up after these messages, Mars helicopter reaches a new milestone. Those details after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. H3 Dynamics commences UAV hydrogen propulsion test. Hydrogen propulsion experts H3 Dynamics has begun a new phase in its hybrid electric systems, working from its location in Austin, Texas and Toulouse, France. The company has started its initial wind tunnel testing on its prototype, small-scale, hydrogen-powered aircraft. The most recent work, in association with partner companies and universities, pertains to the deep physics behind aircraft integration of hydrogen electric systems in the context of aeronautical regulations. Southern Airways Express buys 20 Regent Sea Gliders. Southern Airways Express announced their intent to purchase 20 of Regent's Sea Glider aircraft once available. The partnership between the two companies will see 15 Viceroys and five of the firm's 100 passenger Monarch. 
Southern Airways has paid deposits on the aircraft, which will eventually represent a $250 million value when the sea gliders are delivered. The deal brings Regents order books up over the $600 million mark. Great news for the development of the next generation all-electric project. Zero Avia brings in $35 million for green flight tech. United and Alaska Airlines have joined fellow investors to support Zero Avia's effort at developing a 2-5 to five megawatt powertrain for commuter aircraft. The sustainable aviation company has made headway on their ventures, bringing in a number of big fish investors to the sum of $115 million total. United anticipates an order of 50 of the hydrogen electric engines with an option for 50 should they desire it. If you have a ticket to the EAA Museum, then you can enter AMA for free. The organizations notified their membership bodies that they will now share free admissions between each museum under their purview. Free admission to the EAA Aviation Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, as well as the National Model Aviation Museum in Muncie, Indiana, will allow active members of either organization to enter either free of charge. The AMA is notable as a major venue from which to view the history of much of unmanned hobby-related aviation and take our word for it. It's worth the trip. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Mars helicopter logs 30 cumulative minutes in flight. The impressively long-lived ingenuity the aircraft sent under the Mars helicopter project has seen yet another milestone passing the 30-minute mark for a lifetime flight. The most recent 117-second sortie saw the little helicopter fly closer to its initial deployment point at Wright Brothers Field. In order to meet NASA's Perseverance Mars rover after it finishes its tour in the South Sheeta region of the Jezero Martian Crater, Ingenuity is the first powered aircraft to fly on another planet, achieving far and beyond its original design intent. From the start, the four-pound helicopter was expected to complete a few brief takeoffs and landings to prove the viability of powered flight for future mission options. After its initial mission was completed, the Jet Propulsion Lab's Mars helicopter team checked the equipment for further use and found, despite initial expectations, that the system remained perfectly operable. The Ingenuity has survived on the harsh Martian surface since April 19, 2021. Weathering brutally cold winter months, it was never intended to survive. The next flight of the Ingenuity schedule is expected to cover 754 feet at 5.6 miles per hour, a relatively lengthy two-minute jaunt. Coming up after these messages, there's a new EVITOL concept that resembles a sunfish. More on that after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Ziva Arrow announces unusual EVITOL concept. 
Ziva Arrow has announced the start of its investment campaign for its unusual eVTOL concept, which, in a field composed entirely of varied combinations of sleeky tapered curves, bulbous cabins, and outboard rotors, still manages to stand apart from the crowd. Ziva's work instead appears reminiscent of a large carbon fiber sunfish flanked by a series of propellers. Breaking from the convention of multiple or even single seats and traditional ergonomics, the Ziva instead relies on a pilot occupant lying face down over the flattened wing body while in flight. The unorthodoxy isn't without purpose. However, as unlike many of its air mobility competitors, the Ziva eschews the use of any helipads or landing zones atop the city skyline, instead opting for a vertically oriented docking system placed along the sides of a building. The sky dock system is advertised as freeing occupants from elevators, ground transport, parking lots, and waiting through a direct airlock connection to the destination. Instead, Instead of skillful manual connection, SkyDock relies entirely on computer-controlled alignment, capture, and integrated charging to connect the Ziva. The system is built as a commuter time saver, a first responder vehicle, and even an emergency escape capsule of sorts. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.